This week on Car Obsession, a Fiat specialist says the C word many times. Corrosion on that brake pipe. Corrosion. 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 The corrosion. Whoa. Yeah. I get an offer that I can refuse. What would I pay for this? Probably 200 pounds. And I find out how good Bella is out of 10. So what, what would you give the car out of 10? Hello guys and welcome back to Car Obsession. As you can see, Bella, my Fiat Centra Sporting is on the ramp and as you can also see, I'm joined by a guest. This is Dean from Small Car Services. Today he's going to be telling me how wonderful Bella is and how she needs nothing to be fixed on her. Isn't that right? We'll try. <laughs> so yes, um, if you have a small Fiat or and a Bath of course, or even an Alfa Romeo, be sure to check out Small Car Services. I'll pop their details in the video description below. But anyway, what we're going to do now is Dean is going to have a good look over the car and uh, hopefully uh, he won't tell me how broken it is. Fingers crossed. Needless to say, things didn't get off to a good start. Some corrosion on that brake pipe. In fact, that one's changing. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. Yes, I noticed that when I was doing the timing belt. I saw it. I was like, "Yeah, that does not look happy." No, quite common though. I've seen that on these before. Well, there's a fair amount of corrosion in this car, but to be fair, given the age and the fact it's lived pretty much all of its life by the sea, it's not actually doing too bad. Both in the rear wheel arches, hold, up just in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, both are like that. Right, that is not good. Yeah. MOT failure? That, no, because it's not. Thank God for that. Not <laughs> within 30 centimetres of a suspension mounting, but it's definitely going to let some water inside the car. Yeah, it's a bit crusty, isn't yeah. it? I do, well, I have been advised that both of the uh, wheel cylinders are uh, binding, binding, so. I don't think it's that. Oh, really? No, it looks like the pivot points on the rear brake shoes are seized. It's quite common. Ah. It might be, but um, yeah, as well, because the cylinders do suffer from seizing, but those yeah. arms like I've already seen there are pulled right in. Yeah. So there's a pretty good chance that that's all it is. But the handbrakes are pretty poor on these anyway. The handbrake on this is rubbish. Yeah, from day one they were like that. Yeah, I've tried to adjust it and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's awful. The handbrake may as well not be there. Yeah, more corrosion. Uh, yeah, fair bit of corrosion. So you've got another brake pipe there. A lot of corrosion in it. It's already had one copper pipe up to that point. Yeah. To be fair, that probably would clean up and treat it. Um, it's had a new tank, so that's a good thing. Are they quite yeah. uh, prone to rusting through? Yeah. Well, yeah, there was a recall on them. Uh, what year did that start? Probably 99. Yeah. And went on for best part of 10 years. Wow. So okay. I've changed hundreds of these fuel tanks. Um, yeah, corrosion again on the rear seals. So right in the corner where the fuel filler neck is. 
that again, way. Again, quite common. Uh, it's getting that way now. Not that we see many of them anymore, but yeah. Uh, yeah, on the older ones, that's a common area for it. Same, that side, not as bad though. All of your rear suspension is quite corroded, but yeah, I, I spotted that. Nothing, um, nothing too serious. So spare wheel well, quite corroded. Both of the bumper mountings, very corroded. That one's not as bad. That one's almost gone. Whoa. Yeah, so that one's. That's, that's practically Swiss cheese at this, yeah, at yeah. this point. That, that's finished. Again, not MOT failure. No, it's just cosmetic. That's your, your handbrake pivots. So that, you can see how bent that cable is. Yeah. So there's plenty of slack there. I should be able to get that and pull that back because that pivot inside should sort of pivot like that yeah. and that pushes the shoes open. They're really common for them to see. So that wants all of that coming off, shoes off. Yeah. Take the pivot out, WD-40, clean it, get it working so it's nice and free, grease it all up, put it back together. Yeah. And that will definitely improve your handbrake. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to be 100% and that was exactly the same. Quite a yeah. bit of slack in the cable there. But you're not pulling that out, so they're both, no question, they're seized. Yeah. So that one of your breathers. I feel as if that should be connected to something or well, tied down to something. I think it's connected, I think it's just it's not clipped in. Yeah. Yeah, most likely you'd have to drop the tank down a little bit to have a look. but. Again, that's pretty easy. It's just two bolts there, and then one at the front. You drop, drop the exhaust down, hang it, yeah. and then you can drop it enough to see. But um, yeah, that's the least of your worries. <laughs> Rest of it, steering, brakes, brake hoses, all look pretty reasonable to be fair, for the age. It's got something going go, go yeah. for them. They're quite amusing to drive as well, these little things. But, um, yeah, I PDI'd the last of the Cinquecentos. Yeah. And the first of the Seicentos when they come out in the dealer. That was quite a long time ago. Springs, I think they look right. So no doubt you'll note it, but all the tyres are ancient. I won't bother looking for dates on the tyres. Don't. To be fair, they don't look in too bad a condition. Yeah, this is 2012. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's probably one of the older ones, the not one of Steve. Right, coming down. Yeah. Yeah, one of the back ones is dated 2015. Yeah, so the one that looks the newest is actually the oldest. I think there's a leak from the rocker cover gasket. Smells all right. Notorious for head gaskets. Yes, I have read that. I've done a lot of these. Yeah, definitely rocker cover gasket. Probably your yeah, camshaft, uh, not kind of the coil pack seal as well. I'm not sure the seal were in the sunroof factory. Uh, it's not for extra. I mean, a, a man of your stature, I can't believe you don't you, you don't know that. That's, clearly, that's that's the um, Super Legera pack. It is a standard sunroof, though. It is a standard sunroof, yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, it must play. It's, it's clearly been leaking at some point in its life, and if you look carefully, you can see some light mould spots in the car. It might have just been the drain tubes. Yeah, yeah. Possibly. Hopefully, but I don't know how long this has been on and what damage it's going to do to the paint taking it off. Well, I think the paint's already gone on the roof <laughs> anyway. Dean, I don't know what you mean. This is concourse. So, here's a question for you. I'm going to make myself look stupid here, but hey, it's all for the fun of YouTube. Two questions. 
how much do you think this car's worth uh, from a private sale, or how much would, would you pay for this car, and how much do you think I paid for this car? <laughs> so this is where I'm going to stitch myself up, but uh, it's, it's, it's all part of the fun. What would I pay for this? Probably £200. Okay, cool. Uh, but that's me, and I'll always low bowl <laughs> everything. <laughs> uh, right. As to sell it, what MOT is left on it? Uh, oh, good question. September, I think, from memory. Just coming, yeah, so. I could be wrong, it has got a fairly long MOT on it. Anything with a long MOT is worth a minimum of £500. Agreed. Uh, to the right person, maybe seven or eight hundred, but okay, I wouldn't say any more. Okay, but I wouldn't pay that for it. <laughs> Thanks. So let's run through the list. So, so you've got a couple of lights out, that's not major, that's no. easy stuff. So, that brake pipe, yeah, that's bad. Um, the cam cover on the coil pack seals, the corrosion, two. both rear inner arches plus bumper mounts rear mm, yeah general corrosion that so, brake pipe near the um, gear lever underneath yeah that offside front is that. I would suspect that being MOT That's failure, def but that being a major defect or a dangerous defect. Uh, major, I would say. Okay. Uh, what else did I pick up on? I don't think there's much more. That was it. Oh, the, the fuel um, pipe. The uh, binding on the rear. That's right. Yeah. Fuel pipe. I'll put this into readable language in a minute. Not, not, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a doctor's handwriting. Yeah, not, not, not my handwriting. You want it in uh, tight to be able to understand what's going on there. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll... Um, well, I'll get this all, all written up and invoiced. So, what, what would you give the car out of ten? Five? Half is fair. <laughs> Definitely, more than, <laughs> more than fair. I would have possibly said la, but I like to say gently, so yeah, it's a five. It's got something going for yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like a little go-kart, really. Yeah. A bit like the, uh, you know, the modern 500s. Yeah. So, but yeah, if you want to keep it, you've definitely got a bit of welding to do. Yeah. Brake pipes, sort the rear brakes out. Yeah. And the rest of it is not too bad. Cosmetic and put some new tires on it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's an old car, eh? <laughs> I know, but, it is. Yeah, I do remember PDI on them that yeah. age. So it makes it, me feel it'd be, old. It'd be, well, it, this won't make you feel any better. The car will be 24 years old this September. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, and I'd already started quite a bit before that as well. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it seems well, on that note, before I make Dean feel any older than he is, um, it's time for me to end. A massive thank you to Dean and no small, small car services for giving better an appraisal and uh, giving me more of a to-do list, just what I wanted. So yes, yeah, so if you have a Fiat, a Bath or Alfa Romeo and you're in the south of England or just anywhere in England really, uh, be sure to give them a shout. The details will be in the video description below. If you have enjoyed this video or uh, found it useful, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession. Come on, Dean, more than a five. It's not, it's a five. <laughs>